What's up guys, my name is Marcel, welcome to my YouTube channel One Dapper Street and welcome to another episode of our Getting Dressed series where I show you how I put my outfits together step by step and today we're gonna focus on loafers. Specifically the ones I'm holding in my hand right now, these are navy suede tassel loafers from my own brand. You'll see a light colored sole on the bottom so we have a nice contrast and a very simple uh, design. Then we have some brown piping around the opening of the shoe and just, you know, where the tassel goes through. So this is what we'll be styling today and here we have them with the first pair of pants that I decided to try on with the loafers today. These are tan five pocket cotton pants from Paige. And I'm showing you here how it would look for like on the one side cuffed up once and on the other side worn all the way down uncuffed and a closer look at the five cotton pants. I think with this look the you have to you have to make sure if you don't roll up your pants that they're cropped proper. They can't be too long where the fabric bunches up too much. Then up top we have a tie bar shirt that I wanted to test out. So this is picking up on the blue like the navy of the shoe and the light blue of the pattern and while the tan of the pants is more so um, reflecting the brown tone of the sole. Um, I flipped up the shirt cuffs and like wore it unbuttoned, it just looks a little bit too sloppy. And that's why I decided to add a belt, you guys know I don't add belts a lot, but with this type of look I, I do do it more often, like walking the line between fancy and casual. And um, speaking of fancy, I actually, like, yes, it's getting a little bit warm out there, but not crazy warm, so I can get away with wearing a blazer on top here still. This is a wool blazer from Hardy Amy's, a Savile Row brand from London, and I think overall it's coming together really nicely, but there's this, this beautiful thing in combining fancy with casual, but you gotta do it right. It can't be too casual. There can't be any outlier that's kind of, like, making it unbalanced, and I thought the shirt just wasn't, wasn't entirely fancy enough, if that makes sense. So I switched out the shirt to a very slim shirt from Jose Bank. The collar is a bit taller and you have a couple of buttons to button down that collar. And the color itself is a little bit more dark blue now. So the pattern is not a light blue. I think the light blue was what made it a little bit more whimsical. Once I did that, I did decide to switch out the pants entirely though. I think the color scheme just got, I don't know, it was a thing, I, I just wasn't into it in the moment. So now I'm wearing a pair of white pants from Suit Supply that are cropped a lot shorter as you can see, but also they're finished off much more nicely around the waist, so I decided to ditch the belt because I felt like I didn't need it anymore for these pants. Then I went for yet another blazer because I noticed how I was getting hot and I wasn't even outside yet, so it was a little bit too much the wool blazer, now I'm wearing a linen blazer from Ola Bar Brown. It's a bit more slim through the, through the waist, not the waist, the, the, the torso, and a tiny bit longer but it worked really, really well for me. Um, so much so that I actually decided to rock with that look and just add in a couple of accessories before finishing it up. I'm wearing my Piaget watch. It's a rose gold and a bluish gray leather strap. And then we got these shades from Tots that uh, have a really nice brown leather detailing and are, the base of them is blue and brown. So once again, picking up on the blue and brown that we, we kind of started with in the shoes initially. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me go through that process. Once again, I haven't really talked about why I do these getting dressed videos. They're really to show you guys that I try things out and I feel like we all need to try things out and, and experiment and go back to options to really see what works best because sometimes we think something like the first look looked good to me, but trying out the other thing and switching out the pants really, really show me that I think, I mean, I, I like what I ended up with in the end, obviously more than the option I had in the beginning. But what are your guys' thoughts? Let me know if you like the first look better than the second. And if you like this general thing, every now and then I just like to check in and make sure you guys still enjoy this. But we're forgetting one important part that many of you guys had asked for in the past. And that's a cinematic short for you guys to check out the outfit in motion. Three, two, one.
that's it for me today. Thank you guys so, so much. I hope you enjoyed how I styled these loafers. Once again, leave comments down below. Love reading your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you very, very soon with the next video. Until then, as always, stay dapper. Bye.